stop here at where are we William Creek now we're heading on down to Coward Springs you can see William Creek's where we are and highlighted in purple Coward Springs is where we're going so it's not too far up the tanks with the desalinated water we're leaving William Creek Hotel a little bit dusty I'm not gonna lie where are we going to this so Mari is 202 k's we're gonna explore a lot more of the ruins the bridges the sand dunes we're gonna go to Coward Springs Lake Eyre we've got heaps to do don't we we do London? Yes. Right. Completed Didn't they have mobile phones back then? Why'd I have to run no. cable? <laughs> it was completed in 1872 and became Australia's first telecommunications link to the outside world. So, there we go. There's a whole lot more of info here, but what's cool is those things. Yeah. Well, there's, there's two there. One here. And there's another one there. Think of those ruins. They're very ruined. Like the other ones. <laughs> There's an old car there as well. Look. All those old cars. Don't know what that car is. Anyone guess what that car is? Probably an old Buick or something like that by the look of it, the shape. You can see the red sand hills starting now. Yeah, we're crossing through all the juice. Strangway ruins. Is that what it is? Strangway? Uh, yes, I think it is. Strangway. Yeah, well, I think so. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, is this part of Anna Creek Station? Oh, and if you guys, a bit of random information Anna Creek Station is the largest working cattle station well, in the entire world. In the entire world. Not it's, just Australia, yeah, the entire world. Here we go. Okay, some more information for you. Random info, eh? Strangway Springs is one of the many clusters of mound springs in the far north of South Australia. They're natural outlets for the underground waters of the Great Artesian Basin. Um, many thousands occur around the margins of the basin in Queensland, northwestern New South Wales, and northern South Australia. Many, but not, not all of the springs have the characteristic mound, which has given them their common name. I'm out of my mouth for you. Oh. Um, <laughs> It says here, as permanent sources of water in an otherwise arid environment, the springs support distinctive plant and animal populations with many species unique to the springs environment. That's probably what that sign was that you Yeah, back there. down there, there's a little boarded off section and it says... Something about that, plants. Yeah, rare plant enclosure. Rare plant enclosure, yeah. It says human populations have also been supported by the springs for many thousands of years. Yeah, well. um, Yeah, very interesting. Okay, there's, there's a picture of a man hiking up there, but I don't actually oh. know how far this is. Here we is. go. We're going for a walk. There are three class, there are class three trails in the area. Be aware of inherent hazards. Walk in a party of four. Well. Well. <laughs> Advise a reliable person where you're going. Wear strong and comfortable boots. <laughs> yep. Check. Take food and clothing. Take two litres of water. Protect yourself from the sun and carry your first aid kit. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm actually freezing. Hang so. on, here you go. Mount Springs walk 1.8 kilometres. Allow an hour. Many different springs, declining flows, water sustaining, sustaining life, cemetery. All right, hang on. Settlement walk. Yeah. One hour. The telegraph line, the stonemason's workmanship, life in a little township, mm. and the wool wash walk. That is 2.2 kilometres with an optional 400 metres, allow an hour and a half, pastoral landscape, evidence for the Aboriginal people who were here, the wool wash and its source of water, collapsed and eroded spring, extinct springs on higher ground, views from the plateau. We should do more research because we have no idea these walks we here. So we just reached the top and what do we got here? Strangways, spring walks, checkpoint A. So there's checkpoint oh, A, checkpoint B over there. Points of interest. There's a little legend here. Well, we've got this. St 
stone water tank, we've got the store, we've got the kitchen living quarters, we've got the management residence, the telegraph station, police station, wool shed, blacksmith. That's so this was a full town. Early European explorers and pastoralism is over there and telegraph and well, railway. So we've got two more little information, boards and a thingy. A thingy, right. Oh, here we go. That'll have information in that silver thing there, I reckon. Usually they do. Usually they do. What do we got here? Ready? Ready? It's like a barbecue. Quick, go. Oh, no bacon eggs in there. Stoneway Spring Walks. Three yeah. self-guided walks taking in the natural and cultural features of this nationally significant heritage site. Okay, so that's what was in there. This is what's over here. Peter Edgerton Warburton, then South Australian Commissioner of Police, traversed this country in late 1858 and noted the springs of Strangways. I hope it's called Strangways. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Strangways. Naming them after State Parliament Henry Bull Templar Strangway. Okay, so it's named after someone. Another explorer, John McDougall Stewart, Stewart, described numerous additional springs when traversing the area during his inland explorations in 1859. Oh, there we go. There's a story there. They've got 3,000 ewes, 300 rams, 40 head of cattle, um, 3,500 sheep. Oh, it says unaware of the developing drought. They also bought 3,500 sheep. And by 1865, half the livestock had died. So it wasn't very successful. Come out again. Um, this says here the pastoral head station at Strangways was selected as the site of the one, one of the many repeater stations for the telegraph line. Oh, there so we go. There's all this information as well here, but that's what's important. And a bit of random information. It looks like, like looking at all this, it looks like little pimples everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> like there's mounds with water on top and, and, and white, like white on top. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. The old police station, eh? It is. There's not much here, but no. if you look closely, look at the flowers that are blooming. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That's unbelievable. Oh, yeah? You don't see that very much. Like, we've got the purple ones, which are kind of everywhere. Yeah. And then there's a heap of these. That's random, isn't That's, it? Yeah. yeah. There's a whole heap of them over the other side. It looks like we're actually on the moon. It's so strange that they would have a community up on top of a hill like this. It's weird, isn't it? So it's a repeater for the telegraph. Yeah, but, no, but yeah, it's it just, bizarre. it's weird, it's like the the ground, everything about it, we're in the desert and it's just, it's like we're on the moon now, it's such a strange feeling. It's a really bizarre landscape yeah. here. And those little pimple like lumps everywhere. We'll flick the drone up after we've done all this so you can actually get a grasp of yeah, this, it's, it's amazing. There's little so. pimple things all around there and now there's like buildings all around here. Yeah, ruins. it's weird. When you see the drone shots, then you'll understand it all. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, but. yeah. Oh, the old wool shed. Have a wool shed. But look, there's buildings everywhere here. Look at it all. <laughs> and there's stuff too, like... Yeah. What is that? Look at all this. There's literally buildings everywhere. Probably because they didn't pull this down when they left. A lot of these places they pull down and move on. But this one, clearly they've just left the elements and it's why it's still here. Stockyards built for the stock that nearly all died. <laughs> Oh, wow. Made termite resistant pine and was brought here from the Flinders Ranges. Yeah, wow. So it's still got the. It's still up here, so it's still good. Up. It's got the metal around it. Yeah. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. So we're standing on one of those mounds that I was talking to you about. It's an actual. Well, it wasn't dried up spring, is it? It's an extinct spring. This is a Frankenia spring because this ground covering. It's called Frankenia. Oh, is it? Yeah. All the green. It Look has it tiny all. pink flowers, but that's not flowering at the moment. Look at that. Yeah. Pastoral station manager's house and the Overland Telegraph Repeater Station. Oh, Over that what's way. left of it? Look at that. The church. Look well, at that. There's an old bath there. Or? I would assume that's what you would pop in for a bath. Crazy. I'm assuming this is a church. Well, I dare say it would be a church. Um, the Trent water tank? Oh. What? Really? I thought that was a church. Looks anyway, like a church, look at this. It's 10,000 gallon capacity. Oh, well there you go. Maybe it's blessed water. Strange. Favourite spot, hey? This is the kitchen! The kitchen! Extended during the Overland Telegraph era. There's those flowers again. Look at that. In the middle of the desert. Look at that. Yeah, and these are those prickly cactus three-eyed jack things. Right. Cat's eyes. They're horrid. Yeah, yeah. Not much left of this building, is there? Can't cook much in here. 
Let's go to cemetery where this kitchen should be because it's dead. Here we have the men's quarters and the store. Also like to point out that there is glass everywhere around here. Look. Smash glass. Look at it all. Whoever it is, you grubs. Yeah, stop like, it. Seriously? It's just yeah. It's everywhere. Oh man. See this one here? It's called Waterfall Spring. And you can see why. You actually got the water running down this one. The waterfall from the top. You're gonna jump in? Tell me if it's warm. Clearly it is. No, it's cold. Oh, so what does it taste like? Uh, a little bit salty, but that's why you can see all the white everywhere in the salt. You can see it running all the way down there. Look at that. Yeah. This is so cool. You can see it bubbling away just a little bit. Oh, you probably won't see it because you don't have polarized, but it's bubbling over here. Where it starts. Now you can understand why they built a community right where all this endless water is, isn't it? Yeah. In the desert. Look at it, it's beautiful. And look at them everywhere. They're all springs. Some of them are extinct though. Yeah. There's a cemetery um, which contains marked and unmarked graves. This one here is Mary um, Hughish. She was the wife of Albert. And she actually died 32 years old giving birth. Oh, lovely. So, this kind of shows how isolated they are out here. We have another walk to the side. Here's Walter David Randall. How old was he? 41. They died pretty so, early, didn't they? They were so young. 7th of November 1893. Third son of William and Anne Randall. There you go, eh? Yeah. Sad. You can see all the unmarked ones yeah. everywhere here. The unmarked graves. Another one you there. You don't want to walk over people's graves, but you don't know which one. Another one there. Another one over there. Another couple down here. Just everywhere. I read the map wrong. Um, and the spring we showed you before wasn't the spring that I said it was. Um, we've actually found this path here that you come and you walk down and you follow the little yellow signs. And we thought we were going one way. We've actually <laughs> gone the other way. Anyway, there's just so much to see here. So I think Chris is gonna go um, now and he's gonna, yeah. He's gonna flick the drone up so it gives you a bit more of an idea. fall on my head. I like the place so much we fixed the roof and cleaned the stove and chimney as best we could. 2015. Oh, there's the roof. There's the stove and chimney.
old bed. Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. What does that sign this say up the there? the most intact one yet. Marcus, about not taking stuff from here, be thoughtful. Can't get in the last one. I really want to take this. <laughs> My marina's got nothing on this thing. I don't. Gonna put him back where I got him from. <laughs> Live another day, buddy. Let's head on here and have a bit of a look. Whoa. What would you want to take, honestly? Oh, I feel like the roof is gonna fly away. Pretty sure I saw another building over here somewhere, so I'm gonna go see if I can find it. Guess what I found? The toilet. How freaking disgusting. Bits of the old railway here. I don't think it was a building. Looks kind of like it may have been a weir. This kind of looks like it might have been a riverbed. Another fascinating old place connected to the history of Australia and the old garn. Another place you could spend a lot of time exploring if you really wanted to. and then pop it in here, like these people have just done. I might push that a bit further in. There we go. Well, that's what's going on outside. Oh, such a weirdo. And this is what's going on inside. Just giving everything a bit of a spring clean. Just blowing out the tidy turf. We're not cleaning because we had a major incident or anything. We're just cleaning because I'm an absolute clean freak and Chris is sort of a clean freak and every now and again we just can't handle stuff being not even really dirty just a little bit dirty so we're doing a full spring clean which is seems pointless in the outback because when we hit the road again it's going to get you know every time you open the door to come in and out dust comes in you open windows dust comes in um but anyway prefer it to be clean when we can so how's your coffee oh it's magic i'm spilling it everywhere though look it's all over my feet have sticky thongs. A guide for the historically curious Coward Springs lease perimeter fenced in 1993. Prior to this, cattle watered and camped here. Mm, lots of info there. Yeah. Oh, pictures of it. Date palms were originally planted in South Australia by Afghan cameleers in Mari in the 1870s. To Acres were planted at Cow Springs in 1898. Then, <laughs> Tamarisk trees were introduced in the 30s and planted here for shade in the 40s. None have spread, although elsewhere they can become invasive. Firewood kit? What's that? Firewood. $20 includes three logs, kindling and starter. Oh, oh. They're on... Book face. Book face. Here's a little map. We're here. Just got coffee there. Mm. We got camped in there. Oh, the old Uta Data tracks right there. Shung. Shung. Oh, they've named all the campsites. Mm. Dates, Dingo's Glass, McNook, Middle Camp, Brolgers, which hopefully we'll see Brolgers. tomorrow at the spa, and then there's the museum too. This is what we will be doing tomorrow, spa and museum. So tomorrow morning we're going to get up nice and early and we're going to go into the spa first up. Because the wind's meant to die down tonight. Well, and, and it's 29 degrees, so but the ambient temperature will be... In the spa. Be, yeah, but the ambient temperature will be what, 10 maybe? I don't even it's know. It's a thermal what, spring, not a spa. <laughs> but it's a spa. It's a spa. It so is. it'll feel way warmer in the morning. Yes. We have seen so many of these. Through the Northern Territory, now down here. Well, because we're following the old guard. We are. So Coward Springs Railway Siding was named after the Mound Spring about one kilometre from here. It became a busy settlement for many years. The train pictured here would have been met by Afghan cameleers and the camel teams. It says, the pool is still here. The corroded bore that created the old pool has been rehabilitated. But where you can now soak in the warm mineral waters of the natural spa, 
people have been bathing since the old Garn Railway first started running. That's cool. What's that? The history of the spa. Oh. Yes. Was it here when the... People have been bathing here since the old Garn Railway first started running. Wow. Yeah. So cool. Look. Oh, wow. Have you found anything interesting? <gasps> Seats from the camel cart used by Coward Springs Camel Safari. Hmm. Wonder what year that is. Who's your favourite friend, though? The desert mouse. That is not my favourite friend. And I do not want to be meeting one anytime Strange soon. Visitor's book. Here we go. The roles are reversed. Off you go, writing in the visitor's book. Yeah. Like that. Any pictures in here? <laughs> you don't only like picture books, don't you? <laughs> it's story time with Chris Potion. <laughs> Ooh, pictures, pictures! Look at the pool. Yeah. I'm gonna sit down here and oh. look at the pool. Not much there. No. Crazy, isn't it, the work we've done here? There you go, rebuilding it all. Look at that. Close to ruin in 1990. So all the ruins on the side of the Udnadatta could have been restored like this. Yeah, they could have, if someone had the passion for it, I guess. Yeah. The old garn, the whole garn, could have been amazing if they'd redone it all. Oh, but then again, it's cool seeing it all in its state now. Inspection pit, look at that. Yeah. So obviously the railway, the trains would have gone straight over that. So yeah. they could inspect under it. 1990, both tanks were filled with dirt and rubbish and partially collapsed. 97 cleaned out date palm offshoots and salt bush yeah. planted that's those palms that are there 2000 at law oh, i like the look of it in 2015 mm. that's looking pretty good up there there you go friend. that's where it runs it goes for about a kilometer yeah that's what she was, that saying. was saying yeah the bore in railway days known as the pool now as the natural spa just amazing next isn't it? page campground date palms and tamarisks mm. that's lots going on on this page hundreds of trees have been planted to create new camping areas and the camping areas are lovely yeah starting in 91 we cleaned up 100 years of broken glass rusty tins old vehicles and more buckled away buckled railway iron made garden borders trees of plant. what's the deal with broken glass rusty old tins and old mm, vehicles yeah, that are absolutely everywhere along this track heritage date palms Untended for decades were crowded with offshoots, but producing exquisite dates. Oh, that's why she makes date scones. Date scones, yeah. Oh. Our date plantation in 2017. Is this the future of Cow Springs? We hope so. <laughs> I had no idea it was a date, plant date, date yeah. plantation. Wow. There you go. Oh, they've done a great job, haven't they? You closed the book wrong, Storyteller. You're supposed to close it with the cover. Mm. Finishing. There we go. And that concludes the book. On Coward Springs Heritage Site. There's time for an afternoon nap, kids. <laughs> oh, there's a donation tin. We have got no coins. Number of times. We'll have to come back and put something in. There's a photo of the diesel loco at Coward Springs in 1957. And then underneath here is the same view in 2003. Mm. A little different. Definitely a little different. Tell in 1910. This is one of the earliest photos of the hotel demolished in 1965. On the right hand side of the veranda are Magnus Shane, the first publican, his wife Minnie Simmons, and four of their five children. The hotel site is in the centre of the camping area. Oh, oh well. No corrugation because there would have been camels. <laughs> no camels will be going. Maybe we should buy camels. Well <laughs> What's this one? The Artesian Well at Cowd Spring. Well, what did you think of that museum? Well, you know what I think about museums, but that was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed that. This spa, this way. Going on an explore. More wet stuff. What a beautiful morning. And look at this, we've got the moon. Beautiful. It's like six degrees. Six degrees. What are we doing? Going in the 29 degree spa. <laughs> Close that door.
Are you nearly ready to go then? I'm very ready to go. <laughs> Bring it on. Are we ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, how cold is it? Um, I think it's like six degrees. <laughs> it doesn't feel that cold though. I'm uh, sure it will oh, when we get out of the water. Give it another few minutes out <laughs> and it will. We've just come out of the caravan and it's like I don't know, 20, 29 20, degrees. 28 or 29 <laughs> degrees in there. So um, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be so nice. It's We're, gonna but, be beautiful. Yeah, and look at the sun. The sun's coming up. Ooh. Just in the background. <gasps> there's over the wind, there. there's the wind, there's wind. Yeah. I don't like facing the And this there's way. still a little bit of wind too, so. The wind has been driving us nuts for about two weeks. So yeah. It's supposed to be the end of it this morning, but yesterday was supposed to be the last. That was the last windy icon on my phone for yeah. ten days. Yeah. So. Oh, let's get in this. Let's get in this warm bath. Eh? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to want to get out. <laughs> oh, we're going for a wave. Listen. Quick, quick, quick. Can you hear? It? Yes, I can hear. Oh, look at the steam. I'm not oh. seeing enough steam for my liking. I'd like to see it. Oh, yeah. It's 1.3 meters deep. Are you ready to do this? I'm just dipping my foot first. Oh, it'll be nice. It's a bit warmer. <laughs> They're goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like Lara. What was Lara? It was like 36 or something. Yeah. 29. This is 29. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Come Here on go. in. Here you go. Oh. Oh. Hey, it could be warmer. I think it's not that warm, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. You kind of get used to it when you're here. Yeah. It's definitely warmer than outside, though. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> My nose is running. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. it, it, it was definitely beautiful. Could have been a little warmer, but hey, we're um. not going to. We're not going um, to complain, complain about that, are we? No. It was sensational. I've got sand And now everywhere. The, sun's, the sun's coming up now, which is just gorgeous. And the moon's still up. Yeah, let's get back in the van, have a warm shower. Hot shower. That was hot, hot, hot shower. <laughs> and, hot shower. And move on to the next spot. Yay. Bye. Bye. Really good thing right. is that we are camped up in the spa site, which means it's the closest to the spot right there. Yeah. Look, <laughs> even the galah's laughing at us. What's wrong? At least it's not windy. Not much. I can see your butt. <laughs> My fingers are half off. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I decided <laughs> I was going to take it off and then it's too cold, so I'm half dressed. <sighs> Sun's coming. Laughing at? Have I got a wedgie? Yep. <laughs> oh, I got sand everywhere too. Yep. Alright, it's gonna be so toasty in there. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Uh, it's our time. Okay, our time here at Coward Springs is done. What do you think? I think it's a great little spot. <laughs> it was. It was a beautiful spot. Beautiful campground. Um, yeah, the spa is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Owners are lovely. If you like yeah. date scones, make sure you grab a couple of those. There's other yeah, true. sweet treats from the, the date. What do they call it? The, the date, date farm. The date van. Yeah. Anyway, we better go because there's a car coming behind us. Oh, gotta go. Bye. Adios. Well, here we are at the 
Mutonia Sculpture Park. 